Now you guys, you guys can stop clapping. Okay, today we're going to be talking, we're going to be escalating from the longest song in the world to a sort of long war. The World War I was four years long, from late 1914 all the way to early 1918. So, today we're going to recount the events that started it and the events that concluded it. So, it was, there was already a lot of tension in the, between the European countries, such as France, Serbia, things like that. But, when a Serbian man, okay, 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 you can stop, this is getting kind of awkward. But when Serbian man Gavilion decided to try and assassinate, decided to try and assassinate a friend Ferdinand and his wife, who were heirs to the throne of Austria-Hungary. Remember, Austria and Hungary were probably oh, not yeah. separated. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> can you stop? Oh, yeah. Can you stop? Okay. I said, can you stop? Yes. Anyways, this meant for that the World War I was started because Austria-Hungary saw this as a reason to ju uh, justify uh, canceling the socialist going to war with Serbia because of its socialism. I mean, uh, why else would you, how else would you justify somebody killing a hair to uh, your king? Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, can you stop? This is the, I'm really getting this. Anyways, can you stop, man? Anyways, uh, now there was a lot of tension between the countries because Austria-Hungary called up Germany. Uh, this was a parody because phones obviously didn't exist until later. But Austria-Hungary ca called up Germany, or more specifically, Germany's leader, uh, Wilhelm II, and he, uh, Wilhelm II, uh, after a few months, on July 5th, he, I believe 1914, he sent out a blank check reassurement uh, that said he would be on uh, Austria-Hungary's side during any sort of war. So, Serbia called up that one big, big nation, uh, the one that starts with an R. Can you think of it? I want some oh, answers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I yeah. said I want some answers from the audience, not some clapping from the Russia? audience. Yes, Russia. Russia. So Serbia uh, called up Russia, more specifically Stalin, and they agreed to join on his on Serbia's side. Now, <coughs> what? At that time, was it Russia or Soviet Union? Uh, I think the Soviet Union was formed later yes. uh, during World War Two. That's right, nineteen twenty-one. Yeah. So uh, before World War Two, it was created yeah. communism. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, I believe in 1914, so now Serbia calls up Russia, and then all the other people decided to get involved. So now there's Great Britain fighting alongside Serbia. There's also... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Soviet Union, you're right, Professor. Soviet Union was created December 30, 1922, and mm. today is December 30. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Wait a second, that means that this is the 98th anniversary of the Soviet Union. Oh, yeah. oh yeah! Okay, guys, can you stop the clapping? Okay. Anyways. This is fantastic, right? This professor is right all the way. Anyways, now. Mm, now, Germany. Well, now, there was a lot of people fighting alongside Serbia, such as, I believe, Great Britain, Belgium, and France. So, it looked like Germany and Austria-Hungary were about to be decimated, but they put up a good fight. Anyways, uh, first there was the attack that Germany sent out in Berlin. No, no, I mean, what was it? That was... Oh! Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I believe it was Belgium. Yes, Belgium. 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 So... 
uh, Belgium, in the city of Leeds, which was heavily armored, the Germans burst through Belgium them. Is it a country or fort? It's it's a country. Oh, okay. Sorry. They burst through Belgium and the armored city of Leeds inside Belgium. However, after some quarreling, they were cornered in the first war, uh, I believe the first Battle of Marne, by the French who came in to send reinforcements. And they had to flee uh, via, I believe, the Isny River. It's like a less intense and inflated version of the Battle of Dunkirk. Anyways, after that, uh, the... F Berl I believe. Hmm. Oh yeah! Okay. 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 Jesus. Russia. Russia starts to uh, take Poland and a tiny bit of East Prussia for itself, but are stopped by Germany and uh, I believe Austrian forces. So now. Uh, there's also the part where I believe Germany and Austria-Hungary uh, goes to war with Serbia. Yeah, but we talk about that in a future video. Anyways, now, in the second uh, Battle of Marne, USA is actually getting sidelined, but is sca uh, scared, so he just decided to join the Allies. Oh yeah! America! America! So... Uh, when America joins the Allies, there's a bit of a problem for Germany and Austria-Hungary. Because now uh, America was sending a lot of stuff and reinforcements to uh, the, all the Allies. And so, uh, <coughs> in the second battle of, I believe, Marne, uh, they were decimated. Germany looked like it was on top uh, with the French, uh, French troops being decimated. But suddenly America sent in a few reinforcements and Germany's throne was quickly uh, destroyed and ripped up. Now with Austria-Hungary split up and with Germany ver very much lost, uh, there was no hope for Germany and Austria-Hungary. So. The Allies won the war. Wait a minute. Hitler was in the army. Maybe another war? This is called foreshadowing, people. Uh, what is your question? That's exactly what I wanted to ask. Why don't you talk about Hitler? Now you finally did. Yeah, uh, we'll be getting to that in World War II. Basically, just to specify, he started World War II by becoming the second fastest pres uh, president after the guy in Italy, Benito Mussolini. And yeah, he was extremely racist, even more racist than Mussolini was. And yeah, that started a lot of people. And then eventually Hitler became chancellor via German president. And that's basically how World War II started. So, because Hitler was embarrassed at Germany. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.